early BMW E39 models have two data link connectors, DLCs, to connect a scan tool to. If you're using a generic scan tool, you can connect to the 16-pin OBD2 connector, green arrow, at the lower left side of the dashboard, driver's side. Be sure to install the plastic cover, yellow arrow, when complete. On some models, this can mess up communication on the 20-pin connector if it's left off. Late BMW E39 models may only have a 16-pin OBD2 connector. Once they move to this style of plug, you get full access to all the systems when using an advanced scan tool. If you are using a BMW scan tool or a peak code reader, you can connect to the 20-pin connector, green arrow, on the right side of the engine compartment. Otherwise, you're working at the dashboard and you want to open the OBD2 connector access door, green arrow. Turn the lock using a flathead screwdriver and remove the door from the dash. Plug the scan tool into the OBD2 connector. Follow the directions supplied with your scan tool to integrate the ECM fault memory. Read the fault codes, diagnose the problem, then clear the fault codes when complete. Working at the right side of the engine compartment, unscrew the 20-pin BMW connector lid, green arrow. Plug the scan tool into the 20-pin BMW connector. Follow the directions supplied with the scan tool to integrate the ECM fault memory. Read the fault codes, diagnose the problems, then clear the fault codes when completed. You can see that by using the 20-pin BMW connector, you have access to all systems, not always the case in the early 16-pin OBD2 connectors. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.